Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be seeing which one of these loses more air over 24 hours. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you know, I'm going to be switching to a latex in the tube, but I just wanted to see how much air they lose over a 24 hour period. So we've got on test the Vittoria latex in the tube road, and we've also got the Continental Race 28 Lite. I don't have the box, and that's why it's loose. This is one I've had in my wheel for um, probably two years. Never had a puncture, um, so it is uh, pretty much new. Okay, so for the test, we're going to be using these Axis 2.0 disc wheels. I actually got these with my um, specialized Rebay 2014. And what I've done is I pumped the, the same inner tube that it's always had in there and the same tire. Haven't used these for four or five years. Um, I pumped them up to 100 psi three days ago. So let's see how much they have lost at the moment. Okay, so using the very unscientific method of a track pump, 85 PSI. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in the butyl one, pump it up to 100, leave it a day, and then come back and see how much is lost. Okay, so we're back. <coughs> Forgive the cold, it's probably COVID or something. We'll start off with this Continental. So it's the Continental Race 28 Lite, that'll do. We'll just get some talcum powder around it. Clean all that up again after, doesn't matter. What we'll do, we'll just crank it into this wheel, pump it up, leave it for a day, and then uh, put the latex one in. What I'm gonna do is get the track pump, put some air into it, just to help. That'll probably be enough, it's probably too much. This will help locate it. The tap just ensures it doesn't stick to anything. So there we go, it's pretty much in. Now we can start folding over the bead to there. Okay, so. Well, that went in actually really easily. We'll start pumping it up gently, just to check it's seated. Looks good. Okay, so that's on 100. We're going to take it off. I'm going to come back in one day. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, and we're back. It's the next day, it's 24 hours after. And we're going to see, once I've put my thumb around the right way, how flat or not this is. So, it's a bit rainy outside if you can hear it. We've got Storm Alex raging outside my uh, shed, so. That is just below 90. So, what we're going to do now is take this apart, put in the latex one, pump her up, leave her for a day, and see how much that one's gone down. So, okay, strip that all the way, plop her out, and she's out. We'll get the latex tube, this one. Oh, it's a nice pink colour, and it's got an instruction manual. Pump it up, probably. Don't pinch it. Yeah, do some stuff. A bit dull. One latex tube. This would be the first time I've ever used a latex tube. It's an interesting construction. It's kind of stuck together there. Look, let's talc it up and let's put it on. Take some of that. There we go. That looks wonderful. So what we'll do, I don't know why it's got that sleeve. Stop it rattling maybe, but we're not concerned about that. So what we'll do, we'll just pump it up a little bit to get some shape. There we go. A little bit of shape there. Ooh, feels a bit weird. We'll put that in like so. Then we'll feed in the latex tube. Put it into the tire. There we go. And then we'll start squashing it in like this. So I've pumped it up 
the inner tube takes the shape of the tire and it and, it, and you're much less likely to pinch it just rock it in there we go we're just going to inflate it a little bit just to see if we've got it seated correctly okay that is about 15 psi just feeling around checking it out put this on there and we'll pump it up okay so it's uh 100 now so we'll come back in 24 hours let's just tighten that up there we go leave everything as it is see you tomorrow hi everyone so we're back again let's check out how the how the latex tube has got on so try not to lose any of that try and do it as quick as i can Ooh. okay so that is is 80 psi so we've lost 20. so that's almost double my normal inner tubes would lose so that was a nice little experiment. So I'm going to be losing 20 PSI a day if I use these. That's just on, on one test. So is it worth going to latex? What do you think? Have you got latex tubes or butyl, tubeless, tubs? Let me know what you think. But uh, at the moment, I'm going to have to pump these up every ride. I used to pump these up every probably two days. But these I'm going to have to pump up every day. So, as I said, let me know in the comments what you ride. Like. If you like the channel, like and subscribe. That would be great. Tell everyone about my channel, please. And we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care, bye.